Hello all. Welcome to the program. Know your government by NOIAs, an initiative where a government scheme is picked up on, elaborated on its content and is followed by a question which is in line with the UPSC pattern. Today we will look into a, an initiative which is known as the Swayam Prabha Initiative. Swayam Prabha Initiative. Now, what is this? This was a scheme which was launched by the government a couple of years before and this Swayam Prabha is basically a group of 32 DTH channels that is a group of 32 direct to home channels is this Swayam Prabha initiative. Now, one peculiarity of this initiative is that this channels, all these 32 channels, those were devoted for the telecasting of high quality educational programs alone or for the telecast of high quality educational programs on a 24 bar 7 basis using the GSAT 15 satellite was one of the key objective of this Swayam Prabha initiative. See, especially you know, if you are going into a lower class or to a middle class family, some of the students you know, may not be able to afford the expensive and very lucrative education, especially from the private sector. So, for them the only thing is, Quality education is something you know, which they are going to get through different DTA channels you know, which they would be getting at their home. That is one of the key initiative or one of the, the thought behind the Swayam Prabha initiative. Now, this was a program which was spearheaded by the Ministry of Human Resources and Development or this is a program by the MHRD's program. Every day there will be a new content, a, a new content would be added and that content would be for a period of at least 4 years. I mean, uh, for, for a period of 4 hours and that will be telecasted multiple number of times. So that in case somebody misses a content you know, which has been showcased on the first instant, they can learn at their own convenient time through this channel this is again one of the benefit which the people who are going to watch this channel are getting. Then the contents are provided by prominent education institutions or, or organizations like the NPTEL, IITs, UGCs, CECs, ICNO, NCRT and NIOS etc. So, this is a collaborative effort between different educational spearheading bodies so that ultimately the people who want good quality education they are able to get it at a very easy and convenient manner. Then the INF LIB NET, InfliptNet Center maintains the web portal or, or that is an agency which is basically monitoring and maintaining this web portal of this Swayam Prapa initiative as well as the uh, operational part behind it. Then what are all the aspects which has been covered under this Swayam Prapa initiative? That is should be our next or key area of focus. First one is it contains the course materials pertaining to higher education, higher education related course materials that is curriculum based course contents at postgraduate and undergraduate level. So understand that both Postgraduate as well as undergraduate related curriculum materials are being covered under these channels and that span across different streams and areas like arts, science, commerce, performing arts, social science and humanities, engineering, technology, law, medicine, agriculture etc. So curriculum based graduates and post graduation courses across these areas is something which has been covered through the element of higher education. Now, all these courses you know, which are being covered would be also available in a certification ready in the detailed offering through the Swayam platform. You know, we would have been already discussing previously about an initiative which was known as the Swayam. That is basically a massive open online course platform wherein which these courses would also be available in a certification ready mode as well. Now, apart from higher education, the Swayam Prabha channel will have contents pertaining to school education as well that is school education of standard 9 to 12 levels and modules for teachers training modules for teachers training as well as teaching and learning aids for children and of India to help them understand the subjects better and also help them in preparing for competitive examinations for admissions to professional degree program that is both the content which is pertaining for teachers training as well as to ensure that especially in the classes of 9 to 12 weeks wherein which the students would need a base in terms of their educational aspects so that you know they are able to crack upcoming competitive examinations after standard 10 or 12. So,
So that kind of a base building is also something which has been happening through this, this DTH initiative. Then curriculum based courses that can meet the needs of lifelong learners of Indian citizens in India and also people or Indian citizens uh, who are abroad is also being met. That is, this is not restricted only to a school level or to a graduation level or to a post graduation level, but curriculum based those content you know, which which would meet the needs of lifelong learners as well is also been very specifically included in the Swayam Prabha initiative. And last one is this is also playing a key and pivotal role in terms of assisting students of class 11 and 12, assisting students of class 11 and 12 as well as to prepare for their competitive examination. So that is the crux of Swayam Prabha initiative and now we will see a question which is based on this. Swayam Prabha initiative seen in news is related to social security, cancer treatment, education, sports like Kabaddi, Kho Kho etc. Now, obviously, you know, from what we have discussed, this is a key initiative which has been related to giving quality education in a very easy and convenient mode to a larger chunk of Indian citizens. So, this is a scheme which is definitely related to education. So, the right answer is option C, education. Thank you so much.